As you can see, it's not too bad at all. Let's shoot. Wow, that is insane. She just had the 1x scope with a pea shooter, so... Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be on the test server. I'm going to be testing all the new changes for the next season, which is year 9 season 1, I believe at this point. Crazy how we're on year 9. But this is going to be for all the console players. I know you guys don't have access to the test server, me included usually, but since I'm finally on PC, I am here and I'm using controller as well. So first things first, controller recoil is the same even on PC if you're playing with the controllers. So yeah, let's get right into it though. I'm going to be showing you all my recoil patterns with all the, like, the new attachments. I'm going to be explaining how everything works for you so you are ready to go for next season. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be releasing in like two weeks or less at this point. This should be coming out on Tuesday, so maybe two weeks from today. So jumping right in on Sledge here. So as you can see, the ACOGs are back. I'll show you both these. I think these are going to be the go-tos. Basically, this one's the old 1.5 scope, but more zoomed in. And this is the classic ACOG. Then all the 1Xs. And then the Magnified C is here as well, but I'm not going to be using that one. I think so far from my testing, I've been playing for like an hour on the test server. I think these two are the best. Um, and then for these attachments, same stuff here, nothing new. For grips, though, this is where it gets different. So the horizontal grip increases your movement speed, so... Say Sledge right now, he's a 3 armor, he's going to be 3 armor ADSing. If you put this on, he's going to be a little bit faster. I don't know the exact percent, probably like 5, 10, 15, something like that, but you are a little bit faster. And it will throw your movement off a little bit because you're not used to it. Because everybody's been like a 3 armor ADSing for many seasons now. So it is kind of weird at the start, but it could be worth it. I'm still testing to see if it is, but I think I like it. The vertical grip just makes it so there's a uh, less vertical recoil still, I believe. Pretty much how it was before. And then angle grip is pretty bad. It just reduces the time to reload. Uh, maybe on some guns where there's like no recoil, it could be decent on. But, I mean, I think the other two are the best. And if there's not much recoil on the gun, maybe the horizontal is the play. Laser sight. Laser is actually way different. It reduces your time to ADS, which is huge now because... It takes like 10 years to ADS, I'll show you. I'm pretty much going to be using lasers on every attacker. Not defense, because if you're holding angles, you don't really need ADS as much, but it will be very important on attack to have the extra ADS speed, as you can see. It takes quite a bit to ADS, even with a laser. It's not too bad with a laser, but you can tell still. Hopefully my game's not laggy or anything, too. It shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, there's me ADSing. Now you can see the 1.5 scope that's ADS more is nerfed. That dot in the middle right there is very big. Like it's hard to see your target sometimes, but it's not terrible. It can just be bad for like pixels like this. It's kind of hard to like tell where you're aiming. Still not terrible. I think I like the other ACOG better though. We'll see though as we go on into the uh, season farther. I went over to the um, shooting range area where I was in my last video. I did an actual recoil video like less than a week ago, but since everything's getting swapped up, I'm going to have to do another one here. So there's this gun with the attachments I have on right now. I'll show you the other ACOG too, because I think I do like this one more. Let's just see the difference. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the other one's better. Like, you can see this pattern there. The thing is, the other one has like a tiny dot still at least. It is a little bigger, but... Still pretty small, all things considered. Maybe it's just that horizontal grip I have on. Yeah, I think I actually like this dot better, maybe. Keep in mind, we are zoomed in eight a lot, so the recoil is going to be... It's going to feel like it's more, even if it's not. So yeah, that's the sledge loadout right there. Same with Thatcher, but they are... Let's try this really fast. Let's use this one. I like the suppressor on this with the... I used to use the angle grip. That's not a thing. So let's do horizontal with a laser. Again, I think laser is going to be the play pretty much for all the attacker guns. At least in my opinion. But that's up to you guys. I'll show you the difference here. 
So without the laser, this is how long it takes to ADS. Like it takes a year. Like I'm shooting by the time I'm ADSing there. Like, say there's a person that like comes out of nowhere right here. Like it takes 10 years to ADS right there on that. So I would not recommend not running that on attack. Because you will be caught off guard and you want that to be a, a thing. But keep in mind, if you're holding angles, defenders can see your laser. That's the only downside of it. There's this gun though. I do like this one still. Yeah, I feel like this ACOG's the play. It just feels better. Um, so let's go into Ash. And I know everybody's excited for this one. Ash R4C ACOG is back. Years and years later, it's finally here. So I'm going to be running the laser on this. Extended barrel feels nice too. I did use this in a couple of the target drills. Got a little jumpy on me there, but... As you can see, it's not too bad at all. I definitely feel like that's what I'll be running on this one. Still trying to figure out a good sensitivity too for my 2.5. Let me actually raise it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm running 25 on the 1X, by the way, if you did want to know. I haven't showed these yet. Same sensitivity, though, besides, like, the 2.5, because that is a different scope. Let me try 37 on it. Let me try 39. Let me raise that a little bit. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's better now. I don't have to, like, pull down as much. Overcompensated there, but not too bad at all. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Feels so nice to have the ACOGs back. I feel like last time we had ACOGs, um, console only had 60 FOV still. When like everybody had ACOGs before the 1.5s. I'm gonna try comp on this one. I know this gun was a thing before. It had ACOG as well, but nobody used it really. I know some people did, but let's try that. I'm gonna try the horizontal grip. It looks weird the way they're holding the gun with that horizontal grip on there. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Horizontal grip with a laser. And then a compensator. Compensator might be the play on the sledge too with the L8. It seems like it was jumping left and right. As we know, left and right recoil is a lot more prevalent when you're on controller. Um, compared to like, M&K. Actual M&K recoil. M&K has a lot more vertical. Okay, Twitch, we got the ACOG extended. And laser. You guys already know I love this loadout. I was loving this when I was testing it earlier. Even with the extended barrel, I can still do it. I was scared it was going to become too much since we're so zoomed in, but... I still like the extended barrel on this thing. Call me crazy, but... Keep in mind, I might be making this look easier than it will be when the season comes out. You guys are just going to have to test that yourself, but... I love this gun. I might be like a Twitch main hardcore next season. Oh, well, let me test the shield for you too, why not? Might as well since I'm doing everything else here. I'm showing you guys everything. I haven't even used these myself yet. That's crazy. I'm like full running with a shield. Like, what is this? Is this real life? What is free look? Oh my god. You can literally look around and not even move your shield. I didn't know this was a thing. I'm just learning this for the first time. So if you hold down your right trigger and do that, and then you can look around. You can even do it full shielded, that's crazy. That could really come in clutch for Montaigne, even like Blitz. Obviously you can't run while it's full, but... You can run when it's down, and you'll still be protected, which is nice. I know that was scary before if you played shields. Um, for Glass, nothing's different here, because it doesn't have the ACOG. Use. Let's try the AK with the ACOG. I totally forgot about this thing. So again, horizontal with a laser. I feel like this is going to be my go-to. Because now I'll be much faster moving around. I'll show you that too. I haven't even showed that. So like, for example, like right now, I'm way faster than I would have been before when I'm like moving around with it. Like you can see, I'm like pretty fast. I'm booking it right now. Let me, uh, let me show you the difference. So keep in mind, it's the movement speed. See now I'm much slower, it feels like. Feels like I'm like stuck in quicksand. 
it's gonna be weird going back to the live build. I'm gonna try to play some actual console games for you guys after this, and it's gonna feel weird probably. So yeah, there you go. Let's shoot. Wow, that is insane. Again, it might just be me here. It's not gonna be this easy, but it really looks like I'm using a Cronus. Again, this is controller, obviously. You guys seen the controller cam the other day? Okay, G8 is going to be the play for me on IQ. I used to love this gun with ACOG back in the day on IQ and Amaru. But yeah, ACOG, Flash. I run the angle grip just for reload on this one, but I'm going to use horizontal anyways. I feel like there's no point. I only did that because it's an LMG and they take 10 years to reload, but I'm going to keep running this loadout. I've been liking this. I wish I had skins on the test server. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Again, LMGs are going to take forever to aim in. Even with a laser equipped, it takes me a good bit to aim that thing in. So, do keep that in mind. Okay, let's use Buck. I used to love the Buck eh? caught back in the day too. I was a Buck main. Extended barrel, horizontal grip. Wait, no grip. Yeah, there's no grip on book. And then laser, of course. Definitely one of the more random jumpy ones, but still like nothing there at all. I'm definitely going to use a lot of book next season. Um, I mean, I'll show you Blackbeard. Why not? He might have had the ACOG before. I'm not even sure because I don't play Blackbeard, man. Horizontal grip might be good for him, though, since he moves so slow with the shield equipped. I would show you now, but I can't even equip the shield. That gets very jumpy still. I don't play Blackbeard though, so I really don't care too much. Ooh, with a pair with a cog, let's see. Um, I do like the suppressor on this. I don't know how suppressors are going to feel now next season with the ACOGs. I guess we'll see. Okay, still pretty good. I feel like that's good. Who is that? I said somebody's on the line. I don't know. I don't even know who that is. Okay, yeah, so suppressors are still good with ACOG, confirmed. Ooh, Habana ACOG. I used to like me some Habana ACOG, too. So again, adding the horizontal, adding the laser to it. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for next season, man, with these changes. And this is going to stop, like, the... Um, TDM meta I feel like a lot more and it's going to help attack a lot. Those are like the best two parts about it. Because the ADS times are so slow now you can't just like run around. You have to be ADS or the other guy's going to win the gunfight. If they're ADSing and ready for you. Because it just takes so much longer. Especially on defense because I feel like you can't really run the laser sight to make it faster. Because you'll just expose your position too easily. Maybe it'll be worth it though. I guess we'll see as time goes on. Let's use the jack for you guys. I know this is probably going to be a pretty decently long video, but I do want to show you guys everything here. Use the iron sights on that. I think iron sights actually ADSs you a little bit faster even. Oh yeah, for sure. That was very fast. Maybe people will be running like the iron sights on the MP7 again this season. So there's the uh, C7. Again, just a dot. Like most guns for me, but... I am showing you anyways, like, what I like running. Keep in mind, this is why I like the vertical grip on there. So basically now the angle grip becomes the horizontal grip this season, I feel like. Like, especially Ash. I didn't even show you the G3, but I can show you that one too. Like, with Ash, you're so fast now like this, because she's already a 3-speed. So I feel like her bonus helps even more, like you're flying around corners ADS now. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it does feel very fast. So that's the G3 with the compensator. I feel like I do have to run the R4C, though. The fire rate is better on it by a good little bit. And the recoil is better, but this gun's still not bad. I don't know if I'll be running it, though. Okay, Ying is next. Get the ACOG on there. I like the suppressor on Ying. Ooh, this one's going to be a tough one again. The ADS is going to be terrible on this gun. 
Yeah, the ADS does take quite a bit there. Which isn't the best for Ying, because you want to try to get in fast off your candelas, and it'll take 10 years to aim down sights. Oh, this is one of my favorites, though, so ignored the Ying. On to Zofia. Zofia ACOG returns. I used to be the Zofia ACOG main back in those days. I already love this gun, too. I'll be playing a lot of Zofia next season. Especially since, again, with a horizontal grip, I can come around corners much quicker than I could have before. With, um, like a three armor like Zofia. Yeah, that one feels really nice. On to Dokabi. Oh, also, Dokabi has, like, the telescopic B. I think that's for any DMRs. There's the A, which was in the game before, and then this one. Oh, wait, no, this is a 2X. But now it's a 3.5. Well, let's use the ACOG. Horizontal grip, I guess, and then a laser. Let me try the SMG-12 after, too. I feel like that'll be good. Oh yeah, look at that. On the 1X right here, this is the first time. The dot's actually a little bigger too. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the dot is a little chunkier. I don't know how I feel about that either, but I guess we'll see. Maybe the hollow A will not be the play anymore. That's what always... That's what I've kind of always ran, but we'll see. Still feels really good though, this gun. Let me throw the uh, laser on there too now. Ooh, do I try the horizontal grip on this gun? I don't know if that's the play. This one could get a little wild with that. Never mind, it's the play. Did you guys see that? No vertical grip and I'm still doing that? Okay, I'm really using a Cronus. It's confirmed. It does get a little random, but... Again, it was always like the horizontal that's the problem on this gun, so... I only feel like it's that bad not having the vert grip on there. I kind of like that. Okay. Lion ACOG. I think this was still a thing, I'm pretty sure. So this isn't too new, but... Again, with the uh, attachments that I like running. Horizontal grip laser sight. Yeah, I mean, that thing's a dot and has 50 bullets. Lion's gun's always been insane. Let's try the LMG on Fink. I'm interested in this. Um, just flash hider. Actually, let's use comp. Horizontal laser. Interested in this one. Again, ADS is kind of terrible on the LMG, but. Oh my god. LMG meta is back. Like, what is this, man? This doesn't move. That thing does not move. That was 100 bullets right there. Again, ADS is bad, but if you just stay ADS, it's not really a problem anyway. Yeah, like that gun feels a little too good. We'll see how that works out. Let's use Mav for you. I like the suppressor on this gun, to be honest. Throw those on there. Yeah, laser and horizontal feel feels like it's going to be a staple for me, but again, we'll see. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I did like Mav ACOG back in the day, too. Feels like I'm doing a lot of reminiscing in this video. Speaking of which... There was a point I was like a Nomad ARX ACOG main. And Yana. I'm excited about Yana ACOG being back. Um, let's use Flash Hider, not Muzzle like I usually would on this. Let's try that. I have high hopes for this one. Oh yeah, that feels so nice, man. 21 bullets, obviously, but... God, I miss this gun having the ACOG. It feels really nice with the ACOG for some reason. I don't know what it is. I just cannot wait for next season, man. It can't come soon enough. Um, Gridlock. I think Gridlock had the ACOG already, I'm pretty sure. Like, 99% sure. I do like the suppressor on that again. Horizontal, laser. You know the theme at this point. Yep, there you go. I'm excited too, we get to defense here, because some of you guys might not know which ones have ACOGs and which ones don't. So we'll see about that. Let me use suppressor laser on this. 
Yeah, you got like FMG. I wonder if a smoke has that. I guess we'll see. That one feels pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And the ADS isn't too bad with the laser. Already went over this gun, so no need to go over this one again. Let me just uh, set it up right. Here we go. We can go over SMG 11, though. I still rock the uh, compensator on there. Again, I don't know how I feel about this hollow since the dot is huge. Here, I'll show you again. Like, this dot is just so big in the middle, I don't know how I feel about that. Obviously, the gun still feels nice, but it's going to be a bit weird for aiming in. I guess we'll see. Let me try this one see if this is smaller. That's why I never really like this side, because the dot was too big. I feel like it's smaller. I might switch to the hollow B, is it? Yeah, the hollow B. I actually might switch to that next season. Hopefully it's just like a glitch in the test server and they actually switch it back, because... My precious hollow A might be gone forever. Yeah, let me try this one with that. Again, I'm trying to go over everything for you guys. I know this is going to be a long video. Um, you can check the timestamp when we get to defense, too. I do have that in the, uh, the little bar there under your screen. It should be there. Oh, yeah, this one again. We've already went over that, though, once. We've already went over that. Zero. I'm excited about this one because I did like the 2X on this gun before. Let me put the extended. No angle grip anymore, but that's okay. Because I do have the laser. The laser is basically the angle grip now. They just make it so you have a downside by using it. Like the defender will be able to see your laser. Yup. Instant favor for me right here. I mean, I've said that about a lot of guns. I'm just so excited for next season. We've already used this one anyways. No need to do that again. I'll use the PDW for you. PDW ACOG is something. Let's do extended barrel, horizontal, laser. Wow, I might use this on Jackal, to be honest. That feels really nice. Let's try sense. Extended barrel, horizontal, laser. Again, call me a madman for using these attachments, but I feel like it gives you the most advantage. What in the world? Am I holding like the whole gun? I didn't know sense was packing like that, okay. That thing doesn't move after a second. Yeah, look at the weight. I don't know why they're holding it like that, but okay. Yeah, it feels really nice. Let's use the commando. I didn't actually try that on IQ. Extended. You know, the pattern horizontal laser. Let's see what this one feels like. Oh yeah, really good still. Again, keep in mind, I am good at the recoil patterns in general, so it might not be like this for you guys. Um, for reference, you can like check out my last video I did here, going over the guns. It was like a week ago or less. I'll try this one. This will be the last one. I know this operator doesn't have an ACOG, the new one. Demos? Demos? I don't know how to say their name, but... Let's just try the hollow B on that again. Compensator for this gun for sure. Laser. I know their pistol though is like ridiculous, so it kind of works as a primary. Like, look at this. <laughs> I went down because it has no recoil. Like, what is that, dude? What is this? That thing does not move. That reminds me of the Caden Nomad pistol before nerf. Like, what? Try this. Yeah, that feels really nice on this. I might actually switch to Hollow B if that stays like in the game, the Hollow A site. I think this one feels better now. And it's smaller. Okay, for defense, I want to see. Ah, oh, okay, FMG doesn't have ACOG on smoke. Confirmed. Um, does. Okay, no, this, do this doesn't have ACOG either, okay. Because I know on Wamaya it does. This has ACOG though, yeah. 
He likes a presser. Use that horizontal grip. Again, no laser on defense. I don't think that's the play. Because if you use a laser on defense, they're going to know where you are. You'll just have to deal with a slow ADS time. But since you're on defense, you'll be holding the angle anyway, right? So I don't think it'll matter too much. That does feel nice with ACOG, I won't lie. Pulse has it too, right? Oh, so Pulse doesn't have the ACOG, only Castle. Interesting. I don't know why they do that, but okay. Because Pulse is weaker than Castle. On Doc, I love the ACOG on this. I used to use this back in the day. Rook has the same thing. Extended barrel. Let's use the horizontal, no laser on defense, like I said. Yeah, that feels really good. So, Capcan doesn't have anything new, no ACOG on him, but... Tachanka, on the other hand, since he had the 2x on this before, has the ACOG. So, Tachanka ACOG on this. Not too bad at all for this gun. Again, throwing the horizontal on there, let's see this. Oh, yeah. Who's gonna be at Tachanka Crush next season just for the gun? That thing's a beam, man. The spawn picks with some of these ACOG is going to be crazy. No ACOG on Jaeger, unfortunately, so nothing there. No Bandit. Frost does have one, I've seen. Yeah. So let's use Extended Barrel. Let's use Horizontal Grip and no laser. I keep trying to put the laser on like I'm an attack, but... I just feel like it's not the play. We'll see, though. I know I sound like a broken record. I've said that so many times, but... I'm just not sure if it's good or not. This gun, obviously a laser beam. No Valkyrie ACOG, thank god. That would have been rough. No Cav ACOG. Does Echo? Wow, Echo has no ACOG. He used to have one back in the day. So that means Echo 1x? For like the first time ever? How is this gonna feel, man? This gun doesn't have anything, yeah. How is this gonna feel? I don't think I've ever used Echo with like a 1x sight. I'm gonna be completely honest here. Obviously it has like no recoil, but it's a pea shooter. It's gonna be like the MPX now. Weird. Okay, Mira. I don't think Mira has the... No, she doesn't have the ACOG. The horizontal on there. I think Goyo does though. Legion doesn't. Um, Ella does not. There's no way they would have given her the ACOG. I do want to try this, though. Horizontal on Ella. See how bad it is. Okay, that gets a little bit wild. Not gonna lie. Once I'm used to it, though, it's not too bad. I don't know if it's gonna be, like, worth the movement speed on this gun. It might be, though. I'm pretty quick. We'll see, I guess. Um, no ACOG on Vigil. No ACOG on Maestro, sadly. Let me try the horizontal onto the... Yeah, definitely no recoil still, so it's worth it on that. Nothing on Alibi. No way Clash has one. I know K does on this. Yeah. Um, let's try the... Do I even try that on Cade? Yeah, he's a slow operator, so I think it'd be worth. Hmm. I kind of want to put the laser on. Because, I mean, it's Cade. People are going to know where he's at anyway, so loud on sight. It's worth it for the ADS, because this thing ADS is really slow. Ooh, that thing kicks without the vert grip. Okay, I'll have to get used to that, but I think it will be the play. Yeah, once I'm used to it. Yeah, not too bad. Mozzie ACOG, by the way. Like, what is this? How does Mozzie have an ACOG? Who let this through? I know this is going to be like a must pick for everybody. This one with my ACOG that's coming up. Because that thing has no recoil still with ACOG, and that's extended barrel and horizontal grip. Like, how did this go through? I don't know if it'll come to live build. I guess we'll see since this is still the test server. And they can change things. But for now, Mozzie ACOG is a thing. Warden. 
Nobody's gonna play Warren these days. Let's be completely honest. I might still with a shotgun because it actually is good at power spots, but the Warren crutches are gonna be gone. Let's go. It's about time. I'll try this gun still because I haven't yet. And uh, yeah, I don't see it. I know I did miss some guns that don't have the ACOG, but that's what I'm here for mainly. I'll just do these as like a bonus. Oh, here we go, though. Vector ACOG. First time using it. Um, Compensator. Let's not get too crazy there. Wow, this is a thing. Vector ACOG. This is more like one of the wild ones, but... Okay, yeah, I don't know if horizontal grip is going to be the play on this. Maybe. You can tell I'm really trying to work to control the recoil there. That's another way to tell I'm on controller without even seeing a controller cam, because you can see how bad that recoil is the first couple tries I do, and you can see the work I'm putting in to control it after. Someone pointed that out in one of my comments, and I thought that was smart. Um, so let's do a Mai. Uh, he doesn't have, like, a grip or anything, but ACOG is crazy on Wamai. This was feeling like a laser earlier when I used it. This and Mozzie ACOG are gonna be, like, auto-picks, I'm sure. I'm calling them now. They're still gonna be played, like, all the time. That does feel really nice. Um, Oryx is not... I don't think. Did not mean to click that. Let me just check, yeah. Malusi doesn't? Oh, Malusi does, let's go. Malusi's back. That's actually crazy. This is literally Doc's gun now. That's actually crazy, I'm gonna start using Malusi next season. Cause Malusi actually is really underrated for her gadget as well. She just had the 1x scope with a pea shooter, so... She was kind of underplayed because of that, but this is huge. Malusi's going to be a good op next season, especially with a horizontal grip to make her faster. Because she has a three armor. A Rooney doesn't have an ACOG on the Rony, but she does have one on the DMR. So I feel like this is going to be the play. Let's try it out. Yeah, a Rooney ACOG is going to go crazy, no doubt about it. Thunderbird. Oh, that would have been a huge um, help to Thunderbird if she got the ACOG on the spear. That would have been really nice, actually. Unfortunately, she does not. Thorn ACOG. Okay, Thorn's going to be played still. No doubt about that. Let's try this out. So yeah, that's a fair bit of ops still with ACOGs. I wonder if people are going gravita like, to gravitate towards the ACOGs. Or if they're going to gravitate towards, like, the 1Xs. Because the ADS time. I think the ADS time's a little faster with the 1Xs compared to the ACOGs, but... Again, we'll see if people like running the laser or not. Um, Zombie does have ACOG on this, so I guess I'll show you that. Why not? I'm never going to run this gun, though, because it's not very good. It just shoots too slow for my liking. Solus, no, yeah, no way she has ACOG. MP7 does not. I heard Finner is actually getting a nerf. Somebody in the comments told me. He's only going to have four of his uh, um, abilities or whatever. His Finner mines. It's not next season, but it's going to be sometime next year. So that's going to be nice. And only two can be active at once. And then they open up if you get close, apparently. At least that's what I've heard from somebody. This has an ACOG. That's kind of crazy. The two Burrell. ACOG DMR could be pretty good too, like the Aruni. Yeah, that's actually everybody though. Am I blind? Where is this guy? He has to be like right here, right? Yeah. Oh, also it ends the um, thing. Like right when you kill the last, so it takes you to the menu. There's not like a big old delay. If you play the old target drills, you know what I mean. The ones that are currently in the game. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video though, guys. I know, again, very long one for just covering the attachments and everything, but I did want to get this out to you. Um, I'm doing this for the console community. 
because I know I can actually play the test server now thanks to the PC I got. So I did hope you enjoy. I hope this helps you out for next season to kind of prepare you and get ready for it. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, leave a like down there below. It helps me out a ton. Thanks for all the support recently. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.